The Ionian school of pre-Socratic philosophy was centered in Miletus, Ionia in the 6th century BC. Miletus and its environs was a thriving mercantile melting pot of current ideas of the time. The Ionian school included such thinkers as Thales, Anaximander, Anaximenes, Heraclitus, Anaxagoras, and Archelaus. The collective affinity of this group was first acknowledged by Aristotle who called them physiologwa, physiologwa meaning those who discoursed on nature. The classification can be traced to the second-century historian of philosophy Socian. They are sometimes referred to as cosmologists, since they were largely physicalists who tried to explain the nature of matter. While some of these scholars are included in the Milesian school of philosophy, others are more difficult to categorize. Most cosmologists thought that, although matter could change from one form to another, all matter had something in common which did not change. They did not agree on what all things had in common, and did not experiment to find out, but used abstract reasoning rather than religion or mythology to explain themselves, thus becoming the first philosophers in the Western tradition. Later philosophers widened their studies to include other areas of thought. The Eleatic school, for example, also studied epistemology, or how people come to know what exists. But the Ionians were the first group of philosophers that we know of, and so remain historically important. Thales Thales, Greek, Thales, Thales of Miletus c. 624 c. 546 BCE is regarded as the earliest Western philosopher. Before him, the Greeks explained the origin and nature of the world through myths of anthropomorphic gods and heroes. Phenomena like lightning and earthquakes were attributed to actions of the gods. By contrast, Thales attempted to find naturalistic explanations of the world, without reference to the supernatural. He explained earthquakes by imagining that the earth floats on water, and that earthquakes occur when the earth is rocked by waves. Thales' most famous belief was his cosmological doctrine, which held that the world originated from water. <inaudible> Anaximander Anaximander Greek, Anaximandros Anaximandros c. 610 c. 546 BCE wrote a cosmological work, little of which remains. From the few extant fragments, we learn that he believed the beginning or first principle arche, a word first found in Anaximander's writings, and which he probably invented is an endless, unlimited mass apiron, subject to neither old age nor decay, which perpetually yields fresh materials from which everything we can perceive is derived. <laughs> Anaximenes Anaximenes of Miletus Greek, Anaximenes ho Milesios c. 585 c. 528 BCE, like others in his school of thought, practiced material monism and believed that that air is the arche. <laughs> Heraclitus Heraclitus Greek, Heraclitos Heraclitos of Ephesus c. 535 c. 475 BCE disagreed with Thales, Anaximander, and Pythagoras about the nature of the ultimate substance and claimed instead that everything is derived from the Greek classical element fire, rather than from air, water, or earth. This led to the belief that change is real, and stability illusory. For Heraclitus, everything flows, nothing stands still. He is also famous for saying, no man can cross the same river twice, because neither the man nor the river are the same. Anaxagoras Anaxagoras Greek, Anaxagoras of Clazomenae c. 510 c. 428 BCE regarded material substance as an infinite multitude of imperishable primary elements, referring all generation and disappearance to mixture and separation respectively. All substance is ordered by an ordering force, the cosmic mind nous. Topic. Archelaus Archelaus Greek, Archelaus Archelaus was a Greek philosopher of the 5th century BCE, born probably in Athens. He was a pupil of Anaxagoras, and is said by Ion of Chios Diogenes Laertius, e. 23 to have been the teacher of Socrates. 
Some argue that this is probably only an attempt to connect Socrates with the Ionian school, others e Gompers, Greek thinkers, uphold the story. There is similar difference of opinion as regards the statement that Archelaus formulated certain ethical doctrines. In general, he followed Anaxagoras, but in his cosmology he went back to the earlier Ionians. See also Cosmogony History of metaphysical naturalism Hylomorphism Ionian Enlightenment Mechanism philosophy, Monism Milesian school Pre-Socratic philosophy Notes Topic. External links Catholic Encyclopedia Entry Ionian School of Philosophy, Encyclopedia Britannica, 11th edition, 1911